He wants to do great things in our lives. Amen. He's an awesome God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And what we're going to do, we're just going to pray a mass prayer this morning just to go ahead and pray because one of the things God was sharing with me is that his body is coming away from the cross. And we're getting caught up in other things. And other things are becoming sufficient for us. And what happens is when we get outside of what the cross has done, we become thirsty for other things. And we start searching for other things. And we look for things to identify us. When Christ has already identified us and said, you are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. You already identified us. So there's no other identification that you need out there. I need something to make me feel good. The cross makes you feel good. Because what he done on the cross is sufficient. I'm not saying you don't have a good time. I'm not saying you don't enjoy your life sometimes. But when it causes things for you to thirst and hunger after other things, and you're leaving God aside because now he's no longer your center of your world, then that's wrong. Thank you, Lord. Let us go ahead and pray. Father, we just thank you right now, God, for all these things today. Lord, we bless your holy name, God, because you're worthy of all the praise. Lord, we thank you for your word today, God, and thank you for helping us to understand, God, that we've got to make the cross sufficient for us. We've got to find ourselves, Lord God, receiving and appreciating what you've done for us on Calvary, Lord. The worst possible way to die, and you chose it for us. You chose it so that you could redeem us and save us from the enemy and from hell. You loved us so much that you took a crown of thorns on your head and blood rushed down. and You took a spear in your side. You loved us so much that you allowed people to spit right in your face and to whip you till the skin came off your back. You allowed them, God, to take some nails and stick them right into the palms and nail your feet and hang you up on a stick. You loved us just that much that you endured it. Because you saw us this day. You saw us. You knew us already before we were even born. Your prophet Jeremiah said that you already knew us from the foundations of the world. And Lord, we thank you today. Father, help us to appreciate what you've done on the cross. Today, God, we're going to embrace the cross. We're going to embrace what you've done, God. Not as a form of fashion. Not as a statement. But God, we really want to live this thing, God, so that we're not turn away from you, Lord Jesus. Father, quench our thirst, God. Heal us, deliver us, set us free, O oh God. Let you be the center of our world, Father. Help us on this day, Lord God. Where will we, Father, we need you to strengthen us today, Jesus. We receive, God, that we are a holy nation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. We receive today, God, that we are new creatures in Christ Jesus. All things are passed away, God. Our past can't hold us. Because you're just that powerful. Father, help us to walk in the newness of life. Teach us, God. Give us such a strong desire to be in your word and to learn of you and to be in prayer, God, and to just embrace you and the things that are of you, Lord. Help us to renew our minds, Jesus. Work on our hearts, Father. Give us new hearts. Lord, as we leave this place today, Lord God, we're going to leave change today, God. We're going to leave, God, with the seed of the word of God inside of us, Lord. We're going to look on and see what you've done to God for us on the cross. We're going to remember it, Lord Jesus. And Father, today we thank you for the victory over sin, death, hell, and the grave. Thank you, Jesus. Because when this flesh dies, God, our spirits will live on with you. And Lord, we thank you. And Father, we'll forever give your name the praise. And if you just love the Lord right now, you just begin to give the Lord a praise.
Thank you, Father.